If you guys want to go from this, it's a banana, to this banana scallop, watch this video. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be making banana scallops. And no, it is not seafood. So I'm only making a third of this recipe. Uh, and the recipe will be available down below in the description box. Are you guys ready to make this snack? Boom! Snack time! Okay, so first step is you're gonna take your bananas and you're gonna peel them and cut them into one inch coins. So let's get that going. Boy, that banana gave me some issues. Now that you got your banana cut up into hopefully one inch coins, now you're going to crack your egg. You're gonna put your salt in your egg and you're gonna mix it. Your salt. And then you go ahead and just mix them up. Then you got breadcrumbs right here. So you're gonna dip your bananas into the egg and then into the crumbs and then into the fryer. All right, so make sure your oil is hot enough and you're gonna dip your banana chips or banana coins in the egg and then into the breadcrumbs and then into your pan and you're just gonna let them brown. And I'm using canola oil, deep fry them. So now we're just patiently waiting for this. I thought it'd be a whole lot quicker than what it is, but the recipe did say it could take up to from a minute to two minutes on each side to cook. So we'll just wait and wait and they're still not done. I know you guys can't wait to taste this, but you're going to have to be patient. I know I'm not. Oh. All right, so that was about a minute and a half, broskies. What do you call women bros? Broettes. There you go, broskies and broettes. They're done. Took about two minutes or so. And just go ahead and take them out of the oil, put them on a paper towel, and uh, they'll be good to go. Hey, Molly, do you want to come try these? Sure. What'd you make? They are banana Hi, scallops. Banana scallops, are there sea is there seafood in this? No. Oh, here's the recipe. Where'd that so. recipe come from, Molly? Looks like you got it out of the Oh, what is this? The 500 Tasty Snack. All right, so it's not seafood. Okay, good news. That's just basically a fried banana coin. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bro, I was gonna cherish you. That's really good. Everything's better fried. Mm -hmm. I can tell you used ripe bananas because that has a bright banana flavor. Nice crispy exterior, creamy banana. That's really stinking good. I think that'd be really good with some powdered sugar on it. Don't go crazy. <laughs> okay. Sometimes simple is best. And I'm looking at the recipe and it says you can bread it with either fine cereal crumbs, bread or cracker crumbs. So you could kind of change it up by your different using different breadings. You can use crushed cookies. That would be good. I don't think you should do anything other than the way I tried it right now because it's perfect. This reminds me of um, the banana fritters we made. Oh, if you want to see that recipe, I'll put the link above. Banana fritters were delicious and they had that same like just bright banana flavor, obviously. Crispy, delicious, creamy banana, so good. Yeah. So good. These are really good. Molly sure approves. Oh, boom! Whoa. I'm like you. No, you have to plan the boom. All right, guys. So if you like this content, please subscribe. It really helps us out. Make sure you hit the like button too. We are always here taste testing vintage recipes and I upload new videos every Wednesday and Friday. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody. Bye. Boom!